All right, so let's take a quick look at Camtasia for Windows. And what we'll do is we'll walk through uh, all the recording options. We'll look at the recording window. We'll look at the editing window, all the options that go along with that. I'll show you how to import some music and outside videos. I'll also show you how to export and also show you that you can actually upload to YouTube automatically from within the app. So this right here is Camtasia Studio. This is the editing window. And this is what comes up after you get done with your record. And this is actually one of the screen recording videos that we created. We just used PowerPoint there. Um, so let me minimize this and let me pull up my recording pane. And this is a recording pane right here. You can see you have uh, capture up here at the top. It'll show you the same options you have here. Then you have effects. You can use mouse click sounds. You can use annotation, all that kind of stuff. Most of this you can do in post edit. Actually, all of this you can do in post edit as long as you set everything up here. So here you have full screen here. And let me drag my little doodad over here and pull this back so now you can see the record. You can see these green dots here that signifies your recording area. You can take and resize it. Let's see, I had a window open here, maybe a Firefox browser or Google Chrome or something like that. I was walking people through. I would recommend always hitting that in full screen and then recording the entire screen if possible. But if you're going to have this bottom down here, you'll notice this is my secondary monitor. So that's why I don't have a taskbar. But you can always go on here and hide the taskbar. The reason you do that is because it gives you a bigger video. And so I did full screen here. You can also do custom or change these sliders right here and you also have webcam here so if I turn that on you can see me here I am right here hi and you also have your audio here now you have a couple of different options you have record system audio and you also have record microphone and so record system audio we've talked about this before but what it'll do is it'll record all the sounds that play through your computer the microphone obviously records your microphone so if you're playing a video or you're showing how something works and it has sound go ahead and tick that on and you're good to go I would highly recommend closing out Skype and your mail client and all that kind of stuff all that stuff that makes sounds and displays before you get ready to record because otherwise your recording is going to be littered with you know all this random sounds and all the random uh, pop-up notifications so here's my audio you can see that my meter is bumping up and down and then there is the big red record button and Camtasia does have a few keyboard shortcuts you can actually start the capture with F9 you can pause it again with F9 and then to stop you can hit F10 so if you only have one screen that's very handy for starting and stopping without having this pane floating over if you do have double displays you can always move this over here and get it out of the way for you so that's a recording pane. Let me pull back up my Camtasia Studio editing pane. And so we'll kind of talk about the three main areas here. Here is our view pane, which shows what is currently in our timeline. This is our timeline pane down here. And then this is our source video clip bin. And this shows us all the media that we have imported, whether that be images, video, or audio. Whenever you open it up, whenever you record, it's automatically going to open this, open this window up whenever you hit F10 or stop the record. It's going to open it up and load it up right here. So then all you got to do is click and drag it down here on the bottom. And you're good to go to edit. So you can hit the S key on your keyboard and that'll chop it right up. You can also hit this button right here which is split and that'll split it up and then you can come through here and delete clips as well now you have a couple of more options you can add a call out here so if I wanted to add an arrow I could add an arrow pointing to this button right here and then you can come over here you can change the color so if I want to make it red I can make it red you could also make it you know look different you can add text to it so if you want to add look here and then it runs that across the arrow you have more options up here you have all sorts of stuff you have little small arrows you have big arrows you have little uh, check marks what, two of the nice features about this is you have a blur box and you have a highlight box and so what the blur box does is that's nice for hiding emails and credit card numbers 
all that personal information that you have to have to show, you know, maybe a back end or something like that, but you don't want to give the general populace access to that. And then the the highlight button, what that does is it dims the rest of your screen and brings what you're trying to focus on to the forefront. So it essentially just focuses their attention. And then you have the text box and you have a highlighter here. You can highlight stuff and all that kind of stuff. You also have the ability to show on your keystrokes. Let's say I do backspace and then I do a T. It'll it'll put those keyboard shortcuts on here. So if you wanted to show how to do that, then you can do that. So that is call out, so let me delete this here. And then we also have zoom and pan, and what that will do is it will actually zoom your clip in. So let's say you want to highlight this here. So what it'll do is In the process will, of promoting your app. Now let me explain. While Matt is- Zoom in like that. And then you can also add a transition there. You can make it zoom in faster or slower. You also have audio, so you can enable volume level leveling. You can en enable noise removal. So if you have a r fan running in the background here in Arkansas, it's summer, and so I'll have a fan here in my office. Otherwise, it'll get 80 degrees in here. And so occasionally in my recordings, I may have, a, if I forget to turn off my fan, I can hit that enable noise removal and that will remove that fan running in the background. You also have volume up, volume down, fade in and fade out. Those are nice for starting a clip. So for example, you import some audio, you can have it fade in and then fade out as you come in. You can also silence it. And you also have transitions here so you can add fancy little transitions. I recommend you shy away from most of these because, again, it's going to add an effect now let me to it explain. While Matt that is not always needed. We're trying to keep this as simple as possible, but you do have these options in here. 